Hello, friends. I'm Sidio Lema Campbell. Today, I'm going to talk about Tactophia and Trifosis. What are Tactophia? Tactophia are small microorganisms. Ah. That also has a role as a decomposer. What are phases? They are semi living, but most likely dead. Wait, yay. I think it's a new area here. Between living and dead, since it can replicate. It can, but it cannot move and replicate on the under certain conditions. It is in the cell, and under certain conditions, the cell is correct. Some because some viruses only target specific cells, and then if the organism is correct and such, so it must it is more to be dead. Not so big yet, but how do they pick those protein binding receptors? Or just they bind with the correct cell. Since the cell has receptors. Yeah, it's it's on another level entirely. I will discuss it on another video. I call back to your bed. No, not all. Are all viruses bad? Most are. There are some that also place a phenome. And yes, those can be used to be used as, can be used in a medical thesis, you know. And then there are some that target specific bacteria using the, using the protein binding receptors specific bacteria, only specific bacteria, and yeah, there are lots of species that target only specific bacteria to, because there are also a lot of bacteria species, you know, are bacteria bigger or smaller than viruses? Bacteria are smaller. Oh wait, no, bigger. Then viruses. Why would viruses be need to be big? Like if you want a virus to be big, what for? For it to be living, for it to generate and multiply on its own? Yeah, that will be disastrous actually. Wait, is it disastrous if it loses the ability to infect? Uh, yes, but then the potential of curing a lot of diseases will be gone. If it still has the poten the has and can infect cells, yep, disastrous, but non-disastrous. So it is not really disastrous, but you're going to have more colds and flus. Are viruses living or non-living? Gray area, more close to dead. Yeah, close to dead. Are bacteria prokaryotic or eukaryotic? Prokaryotic is a cell that has no nucleus. Eukaryotic is a cell that has nucleus and eukaryotes are us. Mammals, uh, practically everything except the bacteria and such, the microorganisms. Fungi, they are eukaryotic. 
So, Coca Free. Yeah, this is from the good episode. Did you fuck that? I'm trying to get a kill from your test, I believe. I'll just. Ah. Why is this? Let's replicate. Play. Replicate. By entering a post cell. And then forcing the cell to make copies of the virus using stands of DNA or can using stands of DNA or RNA of RNA. Which DNA is stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and RNA ribonucleic acid. DNA is forms is like a double helix, while RNA is the single strand. And when the cell is full. The virus makes souls and the membrane of the cell and comes out, leaving the whole cell dead. Now, you may be wondering why did not the virus make a hole? to enter the cell. Well then because the virus, because the cell will be dead, it will be useless. Or, why when it enter, why did not it make a hole? Complicated things. I cannot explain it. I haven't even learned that yet. So I suppose that can be another video. And I uh, will also look at that one too. Then, how does bacteria replicate? They replicate by dividing. Yes, that's it. Just by, divide, by dividing. That's it. Just by dividing. So yeah, I suppose that's it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.